amazing story of survival for you this morning. It's the story of a dog's terrible accident and how strangers and doctors teamed up to save him. We do want to warn you, though, there are some images and descriptions in this story that mm, you might find unsettling. But we want to show them to you because we want you to get a fuller idea of really how serious this situation was. It started in mid-September at the off-leash trails at Walnut Creek Park. Chris Davis has the story. Come on, bub. If you were a dog, you would want Jeff Rogers as your human. <laughs> He's retired and brings his pack here every day. It's a chance for the dogs just to be off leash and just be dogs. Charlie is the latest addition. He had developed some behavioral issues in his two years in the shelter system before Jeff started fostering him. When the accident initially happened, I didn't think he was going to live through the day. Come on, bud. Charlie was playing with another dog. See this, this tree right here? It was fast and furious, and the eight-year-old whipped around. This is, there was a, a, a tree limb sticking up here at an angle, and he ran into it, and it broke off. He landed about over there where Benny is standing. His head would be here towards the right. In 25 years, Dr. Alice Runk hadn't seen anything quite like it. And this is his chest with the large stick you know, going into his into the side of his chest. Impaled from there all the way to his hip, the three-foot limb somehow missed his heart, his lungs. We had to cut it into three different pieces, into small pieces to remove it with a surgical saw. But before she could, Jeff had to get Charlie out of the woods. A stranger called a friend who called the park, who called police, to open this gate to get a truck onto the trail. On the trip to the hospital, Jeff adopted Charlie over the phone to give him the care he needed. Dedicated owner, yeah, yeah. Another team was ready at the hospital for hours of surgery. And by day four, he was up walking, eating and drinking, and ready to go home. He's, he's uh, a tough guy. And where there had been behavioral issues bred by extended shelter stays, well, Charlie's recovering from those now, too. There were a lot of people pitching in and taking care of him, and I think he realized that he doesn't have to be afraid of people anymore. But it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's a positive outcome on a lot of different levels. Now, Jeff's other dogs started as fosters, too. He says he goes to the shelter and asks them for the dog who's least likely to get oh. adopted. He's now adopted a dog with three legs, mm -hmm. one who needed extensive back surgery, and one of them who's nearly blind. I mean, I'm obviously a dog lover. I think everybody <laughs> knows that about me. Just look at my mug. But when you hear about what happened on that, I visibly or physically like, gasped. I could not yeah. believe what happened to that dog. Freak accident. I, I think it's a, a fear that a lot of dog owners have is if I'm out on the trails and something were to happen to my dog, what would I do? Would yeah. I be able to get him to a, a vet hospital in time? And fortunately, a happy ending here. I can so, honestly say that's a fear I've never had. What, what happened? Yeah, that, yeah, like, yeah. Like that particular accident never entered my mind. It's scary. Sure. Not only does he adopt these dogs, too, he, he paid for all of these surgeries out of pocket himself. About, about $5,000 wow. worth of surgery wow. this time amazing alone. Guy. Really yeah. amazing. Chris, thank you very much. Also, I want to let you know, though, that Jeff has worked with an organization called Classic Canines. It's a senior dog advocacy group that tries to get older dogs adopted. One estimate from the ASPCA researcher put the adoption rate for dogs over the age of seven at just 25 percent. Compare that to 60 percent for the younger dogs. Everybody wants the puppies. Classic canines, they'll work it to change that. And we have more information on our website if you would like to help them out as well.